Views Forex Tester provides its users with six chart modes. Three of them are situated on the toolbar and in the view menu. The first one is the candlestick mode. Candlesticks are set in Forex Tester 3 by default. Candlesticks are the vertical rectangles of two colors that may have upper and lower wicks. The second one is the bar mode. This mode consists of the vertical bars and horizontal line segments. Vertical bars display the distance between the high and the low of the current bar, whereas the left horizontal lines show the open price of the bar and the right horizontal line provides information about the close price. The line mode, the third one, is the polyline that joins all the local maximums and minimums. The fourth mode is the range bars mode. To switch to this mode, please navigate to the File, Add New Range Bar Chart menu, and then click on the currency pair for which you need to create a range bar chart. After that, Forex Tester will ask you about the range bar size. Insert the necessary value and click OK. You'll notice that the spread of each candlestick or bar will be equal to the value that you have previously entered. The fifth mode is the Renko Bars mode. To enable it, you need to navigate to the File, Add New Renko Chart menu. Further, you should identify bar size in pips and click OK. Please note that Renko bar size is size of bar's body without shadow. Finally, the sixth mode is the tick chart mode. It shows every single price change within a current data range. To switch to tick chart, you should click on ticks tab in left upper corner of the screen. By default, all up candles have lime colored borders with a black fill. All down candles have lime colored borders with a white fill. You can change the colors of the candlesticks and charts background by right-clicking on the chart and selecting the chart settings option. There are nine color schemes available in Forex Tester. Let's change the default one to black on white scheme. This inverts the fills colors and sets the black borders of the candlesticks. Now the bullish candlestick has a white fill, whereas the bearish one has a black fill. You can also alter the colors for the background, frame and text, grid, borders of the candlesticks, fills colors, and period separators. Switch to the Additional Colors tab and you'll have access to other important lines that appear on the chart. By default, Stop Loss, Take Profit Values, Loss Trades, and Buy Order Markers are colored in red. Orders Levels, Profitable Trades, Volumes, and Sell Order Markers are painted in green color. You can change all the lines and set any color you like using the drop-down menu to the right of each option. In addition, you can switch to the Chart Settings tab and check or uncheck many different options. You can deselect the Show Volume checkbox. This will make a volume indicator disappear. When you open and close trades, the open and close points become connected with a line. You can switch that line off if you need. In order to do that, please right click, select the chart settings option, choose the chart settings tab and uncheck the show account history checkbox. The show period separators checkbox enables the dotted vertical line that appears at the end of each trading day. You can disable the grid if you find it distractive. The grid is a set of dotted rectangles that simplify the navigation on the chart. Each grid's lines provide a trader with the information about the price and the time of the candlestick. Period separators are dotted vertical lines that appear at the beginning of the day. Grid is a set of dotted rectangular that help to see the coordinates of any point on the chart. You can also enable or disable pre-cited parameters if you right-click on the chart and choose the necessary option. As an alternative, you can navigate the View Chart menu if you find the same options there. If it's more convenient for you to see the indicators and account history line beneath the candlesticks line, then you can put to choose the chart on foreground checkbox. Bid level is the line that shows at which price the sell order will be filled if you open a sell market order. Likewise, the ask level is the line that shows at which price the buy order will be filled if you open a buy market order. You can enable or disable these lines in the chart settings tab. If you have an indicator on your chart, then its current value may be displayed with a red color at the price axis. You can enable disable these options in the show indicator's values. Right offset is the space from which the last candlestick to the price axis. If you disable this checkbox, then no space will be visible to the right from the candlesticks. You can set the offset using the scroll bar. If you enable the use fixed price range checkbox and then type in the values for the top and bottom price, you'll be able to see the objects that are situated in this vertical range only. When the Use Fixed Scale 1 Pixel 1 Point checkbox is disabled, you'll notice that the local maximum and minimum are always visible. If you enable the checkbox, then the vertical size of the candlesticks will be changed, and the changes will vary depending on the resolution of your monitor. By default, the grid's horizontal line is drawn after each 5 pips. You can change this value if you enable the Use Fixed Grid checkbox and type in the custom value for your grid. Let's type 30 in the grid points input and click OK. This will increase the distance between the grid's lines.
In the All Charts tab, you can change the scrolling speed, mouse and magnet sensitivity. If you set the scrolling speed's value at 10, then you'll be able to scroll 10 times faster compared to the 1 value. To test it out, click anywhere on the chart and hold. Then drag the mouse to either the right or left, and you will see the speed of scrolling. To test the mouse sensitivity the lines parameter, you need to add a line to the chart. After that, double-click on it, and use the drag and drop method to reposition the element. If the value of the mouse sensitivity to lines equals to 3, then even if you click 3 pixels away from the line, it will still be moved. To make the candlesticks thinner, and therefore to include more of them on your chart without scrolling, you can click on the Decrease Chart Scale button on the toolbar. You can also navigate to the View, Zoom Out menu. At last, you can click on the Minus button on the Calculator section of your keyboard. To make the candlestick's appearance more prominent, you can click on the Increase Chart Scale button on the toolbar. You can also navigate to the View, Zoom In menu. At last, you can click on the Plus button on the Calculator section of your keyboard. To reposition the chart windows, please use the options from the Windows menu. Click Cascade to make the windows stacked one on another. Click Tile Horizontally to make the windows stretch from left to right. Click Tile Vertically to make the windows stretch from top to bottom. You can enable or disable any of the nine panels available in Forex Tester. Please navigate to the View, Show Panels menu and click on the desired panel. The Symbol panel displays all the currencies that are involved in the project. You'll see bid and ask prices as well as the spread value. The tick chart shows the price changes within the current bar. On this example, you can see that the bar was opened at 93.41 pips. Then the price went down and reached the 93.35 value. At last, the bar was closed at its high level at 93.42. The statistics chart provides traders with all the necessary information on their strategy's performance. The scripts window contains all available scripts. Script is the algorithm that will be run once by the user's demand. The data window includes the information on the current bar such as the date and time when the bar appeared, the open, high, low, and close prices, the tick volume, and the bar index. To get information on the bar, you need to hover your mouse on it. In case you want the information regarding some particular bar to be displayed all the time no matter if you hover on this bar or not, please make use of the lock index checkbox and set the index of the lock bar. Please note that the bar's count begins from 0 and not from 1. In addition, the calculation goes from right to left. The Open Positions tab displays all opened orders. The Pending Orders tab shows all the pending orders only. The Account History tab shows all the closed orders. The Journal provides users with the technical information on indicators that have been loaded, with orders placement, modification, and closing, with Test, Start, End, etc. To clear the journal, you can use the Clear Journal button on the toolbar. Forex Tester 3 is translated into 10 languages, so you can experience using the software in your native language. To change the language, you need to navigate to the Tools, Language, and then pick the necessary option. If you navigate to the Tools option menu, you can notice four tabs in the window that have appeared. The default orders will be especially useful for you in case you often open orders with the same parameters. For example, if your strategy requires opening of the order, with the stop loss of 40 pips and the take profit of 60 pips, with the same lot size of 0.2, then you can easily set it up. Click on the Add button. Set the 0.2 value from the drop-down menu that is situated to the right of the lot option. Enter 40 manually or using the drop-down menu near the stop loss option. Enter 60 manually or using the drop-down menu near the take profit option. Add a comment if you need it. Click OK. Now you've added a default buy order. Whenever you need to open your standard order with the above mentioned values, just make use of the Ctrl plus B shortcut. The same procedure can be set for the default sell order that becomes placed with the help of the Ctrl S shortcut. The second tab is called Hotkeys. Here you can find out all the actions that are applicable in Forex Tester and find their hotkeys equivalents. If you need to change the existing hotkey value or to set one for a non-set value, double click on the shortcut name and then select a necessary shortcut from the drop down menu. In the Sounds tab, you can set, delete, or listen to the four sounds that exist in Forex Tester. These sounds represent the dot .wav files that will be played when you start or stop the test, when an error or a successful action occur. To set your own audio file, click on the Open File dialog button. To delete the sound, use the cross button. To listen to the existing sound, click on the speaker icon. In Updates tab, every user can set periodicity of updates from server requests. You can also disable this setting so the program never tried to update till the newest version. 
In other settings, Set Pause After Start Test can be activated. When this option is enabled, after clicking on Start Test button, new bars will not appear until you click on Pause.